That's right, folks. Daisy and Maisie is inside this tent. Come and see her with your very own eyes. We've got a rat with six legs and two heads. We're going to strike up silky chicken with one eye in the middle of a tent and much, much more. That's right, folks. We're going to hold menagerie. Good evening ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Space Cowboy, sideshow extraordinaire and freak animal collector. Uh, when I was 13 years old, a friend of mine called me up and he said, come around to my mate's house, because I've got this really weird bird. I was quite intrigued, so I went straight around to his house and this is what I saw. It's a double-bodied duckling, a Siamese twin like I've never seen again. Uh, it's a result of a, an egg that failed to split completely, making this really bizarre Siamese twin. Uh, it lived less than a week, but uh, the day after I saw it, it died, and I asked if I could keep it. Its name was Ditto, the double-bodied duckling. Since then, I've had a real fascination with bizarre animals and curious oddities. So I've travelled all around the globe trying to find the most unusual specimens I can find. Over here, we've got a double-faced rabbit, a two-headed starling, and one of the most unusual Siamese twins in my collection, a Siamese twin chicken that lived till half-term with its twin attached to its back. I was told when it was born, one of its heads was facing upside down and back to front, but as it grew older, it learned to turn its head around so that it could look at the same thing as its brother. That's why they preserved it in this way. Above it, we've got the skeleton of a double-faced piglet with three eyes. The two skulls are so fused together that they share a center eye. And I was told when it was born, the middle eye looked like a cat's eye because it was owned by half of each one of the heads. <laughs> I would have loved to have seen that. This is actually a genuine preserved bull's penis walking cane. Over here we have a cyclops silky chicken born with one eye in the middle of its head and no brain. If you feel down the back of its scalp, it doesn't even have a skull. Now you're about to see the largest piece of the exhibit. You're about to meet Daisy and Maisie, the world famous two-headed calf. And this is her. And there she is. So Daisy and Maisie travelled around in an Australian sideshow just over 120 years ago. After it died, it was preserved through taxidermy and then was exhibited in the same sideshow for another 30 years. So I'm really proud to have it as the largest piece in my mutant barnyard collection. So there it is. Its names were and still is Daisy and Maisie, the two-headed calf. And it's the only two-headed calf to ever have been exhibited live in an Australian sideshow.